Yes, sweeties! It's the week of October 13, 2019, and we're starting with one of those double whammy full moons today. Sure, there's been drama, maybe even a crisis or two, but this fabulous new energy brings opportunities for healing, transformation, basically fixing up your life. Start with relationships, they affect everyone, and fix those. Then move on from there. You can do it! Thanks for listening to Astrology with Linda Shaw. Don't forget to subscribe, it's free, and press the bell thing, you'll be sent reminders. That's enough of that, let's get to the stars. Libra, you strawberry delight. Keep a lookout for the full moon tonight. It's sending your love life on a completely different course, a better one if you use it well. You could, of course, spend the next few days arguing with everyone you care about, wouldn't that be just typical? Or you could let these energies inspire you to transform the way you relate. How about listening before you blurt out your answer? Or how about counting to 10 before saying anything revolting? You know, the planets of beauty and grace have already moved into your corner, so you won't have much trouble unearthing your natural charm. Your money planets are on the move again too, bringing interesting new options. Stay alert, things are happening. That's it for Libra. Go up here, my little ostrich. You're in one of those soul-searching moods, asking yourself about the meaning of it all. This is excellent. As long as you don't dig yourself one of those misery ditches you never get out of, and you know how quickly that happens. So let this be a good thing. Your inner seeker is on a journey and it's looking for answers. Needless to say, you're expecting scientific proofs delivered on a spreadsheet, ha ha ha, but never mind that. The real issue is that there's a full moon today, bringing magic, real magic, and fabulous possibilities. So if you want a teacher, you'll find one and you'll get your own answers. Money, meanwhile, is improving slowly. Next month will be even better. And your love life, of course, is all over the place. Nothing new there. That's it for Scorpio. Sagittarius, my little frog prince. You're one of those beings who has to be kissed by someone interesting before you're willing to show anyone who you really are. In other words, you have to be made vulnerable before you let yourself out of your own cage. So tedious. But if that's how it has to be, today's full moon is happy to oblige. You can come out now, if you like. Don't you dare lock the door and turn the other way. This is your chance to explore all those fabulous talents. The people around you, parents, bosses, children, are having such a good time, you're wondering whether you're still needed, not so fast. You're the reason they're doing so well. And since you were born to be a teacher, you can teach them how to do it for themselves. Then you can move on and have an adventure of your own. That's it for Sagittarius. Capricorn, my little pack horse. How is it that you're already so exhausted and the month has only just started? Is it because you insist on carrying everyone else's crap and ignoring your own? Listen, you are not required to fix the world single-handed. In fact, all you're really required to do is live a happy life. Still, if you insist on saving the world, you'll need some money for a start. And that success you're after is right outside the door. How about using today's fabulous full moon to dump the old baggage, the fears, the insecurities, the garbage, so then you can open yourself up to a different life. The career still needs a few more tweaks. If you're running more than one business, get some help and learn to delegate. Now remind yourself that perfect is a fantasy that exists in your head only. Now, get out there and have some fun. You've forgotten how good that feels. That's it for Capricorn. Aquarius, you gorgeous creature, this is excellent. You're making a few career decisions at last, and you're finally ready to move your ass and try something new. And no, it's not always that easy, so you'll have some help. Today's extremely determined full moon is dragging you off that couch and presenting you with a few options. Amazingly, the career is on the rise, but you'll have to find the courage to rise with it. It's strange because in spite of your naturally rebellious nature, you're terrified of change, which is really weird. But that's enough of that. 
Without change, there's no life. And anyone who says it's better to stick with the devil you know will definitely be struck down by a thunderbolt. Besides, a new friend is already en route, ready to help you move. Make the most. That's it for Aquarius. Pisces, my little penguin. Are you feeling better now? Excellent. As everyone knows, health is always a big issue for you. Mostly because you're so sensitive to everyone else's drama, you take on their pain as well. What a moron. Enough of that. This week's full moon bursts into your life with a flurry of high energy and upbeat rhythms. Now you can do anything. Start with money, which increases the more you help others, strangely. The trick here is that you must help your favorite thing, but only as much as you want to and without expecting anything in return. The main issue is that you hold on to your power. Don't let guilt take your power away. Guilt is a huge waste of energy. Love, meanwhile, is fabulous as your extraordinary magnetism pulls all the right people towards you. Enjoy. That's it for Pisces. Aries, my little raspberry. Are you so irresistible that no one can help falling in love with you? Wouldn't that be nice? Actually, no, it probably wouldn't. Admirers tend to invade your life, which can get a lot more annoying than it sounds. So pick your audience with a bit more care. Because if you're looking, real love, romance, and even adoration are everywhere. The good part, though, is that you're finally feeling appreciated. And that always makes you try harder. Today's full moon is asking for commitments, but only if you're ready. If not, honesty is a basic requirement. You just don't have the energy to deal with a trail of broken hearts. Alternatively, how about committing to your own success? Let yourself attract real wealth for a change. Open a millionaire bank account, call it that. Put a little bit in there every week. Start there. That's it for Aries. Taurus, my little rabbit. This week's energies are all about you. Today's full moon sends fantastic opportunities to heal old wounds. And then you might think about making some interesting new moves. But first you need to know exactly who you're dealing with. The planets want you to find out who you really are. Remember, the only person you're in charge of is you. So you need to understand your own boundaries. Love and relationships are your main focus now. Are you being manipulated? Are you manipulating? Are you keeping secrets? Is it time to let them out? This is all emotional stuff and you're feeling a bit overwhelmed. Never mind. The sex life is fabulous. Find someone delicious to play with and the rest will make much more sense after that. That's it for Taurus. Gemini, my little porcupine. If the job is making you miserable, change it. You've got a few options. You could change your attitude and decide that you love your job and adore everyone who works with you. Or maybe a long chat with the colleagues might help. Or of course a new job. There should be plenty of those out there, so take your time. The biggest problem with the Gemini mind, of course, is that you suffer from overstimulation. There's too much going on in your head and it's all just going round and round, getting you nowhere and driving you nuts. So how about a few nights of mindless fun before you make any big decisions? The love life should be sailing along nicely now, so you'll at least have someone to play with. Take a breath. Everything's going to be fine. You'll see. That's it for Gemini. Cancer, my little buttercup, are you at it again, slaving away as usual? It's true, there really is no one willing to work harder than you are. And that's great if that's your thing. But even you can occasionally suffer from lack of experience. So if you're battling with something, say so. There'll be much more drama if you pretend to know what you're doing and then stuff it up. Besides, today's full moon is asking you to rethink career choices. Ask yourself how happy you are with what you've got. Are you working to keep someone else happy? Are you driven by guilt? Are you ready to find a career path that actually fulfills you? Firstly, of course, you'll have to come to terms with the fact that you're just not perfect. Then someone will help you with your finances, one step at a time. That's it for cancer. Leo, my little pussycat, everyone loves you today. In fact, Today's full moon is sending a very interesting new love interest your way. So if you're already taken, 
Make extra effort to reinvent what you have, just so that you don't misbehave. Do something wonderfully romantic, which is not difficult for a creative sausage like you. Unless, of course, you were looking for a way out anyway. But think carefully before sneaking off in the middle of the night with your toothbrush. Once you give something up, it's very hard to get it back. Your career is doing its own thing now, so you'll have plenty of time to examine your heart. Figure out what's best for everyone. You first, obviously. You'll need lots of patience for this one. The instant answers aren't always the best ones. Hardly ever, actually. Money's coming soon. Keep watch. That's it for Leo. Virgo, you fabulous angel. Are you being let down by your friends? Look, it's true that you can sometimes be mildly demanding, but if you're wondering what's going on, ask. Look, it's true people aren't always honest when you confront them, but you'll still get a vibe. And look, sometimes people are just selfish. We all get like that now and then. The most important lesson here is forgiveness. Bearing grudges is just boring. More importantly, your finances are in one of their better moods. All the planets have moved into your bank balance, expanding it as they go. This is excellent news. Say yes to everything, even if you're not sure if it's what you want. You can sort out the details later. For now, let yourself be rich, or at least richer. That's it for Virgo. Thank you delicious creatures for listening to Astrology with Linda Shaw. If you'd like to subscribe, just press the button, it's free. If you have a little question, tweet me on at the Linda Shaw, one word, and you have a great week. Remind yourself how fabulous you are. Bye now.